Welcome to Leaks, the Iron Man game mode that is actually fun because the speed of leveling feels like an RSPS. No, all jokes aside, first time playing the leaks and I'm actually really hyped. I'm going to follow a pretty conventional path, I suppose, because I do want what is most fun for myself too. And the first choice of the day we are facing is the very first relic, and I decided I want to go with the production master to speed up some of the more tedious things um, for my gameplay, because my plan is to make a lot of money before investing time in combat, and what I want to do for that is get myself high woodcutting and fletching, and I want to go ahead and elk some you longbows for a nice cash tag to get me started. Okay, so start we're doing some agility we just done ourselves 30 laps which is a medium task and that is quite some nice points 260 right now 50 points earned oh i'll definitely take that we got ourselves to level 33 agility want to train some more thieving and get myself a little bit of combat stats because i want to go ahead and do some uh, master farmer very soon i decided to hold off a little longer on doing myself some thieving but we got 41 wood cutting in the process just trying to get myself some levels but mostly to be able to equip a rune axe which i can actually get from the enchanted valley so let's uh fletch these lost oak longbows as well we got ourselves a clueness medium too got ourselves to 22 uh fletching as well so we got some early levels going we are almost at a second relic right now I I'm at 400 points and 100 more. So really just easy task being done left and right. I'm going to get myself 10k, try and get myself some combat levels, then continue on thieving. Uh, so I have some more HP to go for that. And with the money, I will actually buy the runes and go to the Enchanted Valley in the hopes of getting myself a rune axe. 10,000 GP has been obtained as well as some nice boots. Obviously, we're going for the fancy ones because of the nostalgia right there. I think this is actually a task too, if I'm not mistaken. Equip these bad boys. Hey, there we go. 10 more points, we got his in luck, we got some shiny cash, now we can get some runes to invest in, hopefully get lucky on that X. We just hit 500 points and I'm at a bank, so it is time to claim relic number two. And I decided I want to go with Lost Recall just because of the fact that you can literally recall to any place you've been before. And it's just something that the main game doesn't offer and it seems like a really interesting thing to find out mechanics with. Uh, I've heard of people using this with a gnome pod, which seems really powerful. So uh, hopefully I'm going to be able to use the same power and just farm a lot of supplies and do a lot of things and not really worry about it as much because I can just go straight back to where I was before and not lose any time hey let's get it boys got ourselves the rune axe took us 15 kills but we got it so uh yeah out of this place i actually thought i would get some more uh hit points experience but apparently you only get mage xp for this but we got to 34 which is super useful and as you can see by the way lo look at all these people like this 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 is insane everybody's doing it and there we go count drainer has been slain 38,000 experience in attack, bringing us straight up to 40, so we can already wield the rune axe. Just hit 61 woodcutting, and I think it is actually time that we uh, go elsewhere, because there is so many people here at the willow trees in Drainer, and I feel like it's way too crowded, I have to click way too much, I can't even AK this, which is horrible. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and rush into Kandarin, because there's a lot of spaces where I can train my woodcutting in peace, and since I don't really need the logs or the longbows to sell off to the store, I'm probably just gonna drop everything underneath me and just go for power XP because I need 65 at least to start doing you short bows, but I kind of want to go for you long bows straight away. So that's going to be 70 fletching, which is going to take me a couple of hours. So uh, yeah, let's start grinding. Rune mysteries task completed, as well as getting teleported to the essence mine. Another 10 points, that is two more tasks done. Uh, actually, a task in the easy of uh, Lumbridge and Drainer. One of the more annoying tasks to complete because you have to wait for every single person to complete it before you, but we finally managed it after fending off a troll for about 15 minutes. Deeper Sisters won. And there we go. Thank you, boys. Well, that is just ridiculous. Come on, man. A rune medhelm. Oh my god, bro. I can't even pick it up. Another prime example why the rune light client is just so powerful. Literally all the answers are right there and this took me about a minute and I should get 20 slayer as well as 20 hunter from completing this. I'm not sure if this is a task but it is definitely one in the uh, Varok easy diaries in order to progress I believe or not. Oh my god, I even got level 25. Well, that's really beautiful. I needed the seven Slayer for doing the Lumbridge Easy Diaries. So uh, yeah, that is clearly out of the way. Got ourselves 2,500 as well. Some good levels coming in. Apparently crafting a ball of wool was also a task, but uh, here we go with completing the ship share quest pretty much. Yeah, shave them sheep. Let's go 20 balls of wool. And we got ourselves another 1.2 thousand crafting speed. So already level 12. Completed two tasks, and I think if I make this go two more, and then we are finished. 
getting a Slayer task and instantly getting the one from Vanaka is actually going to unlock the full two tasks for me. And it is Hill Giants. That is so cool. That's super close to me. But that means we have finally completed enough tasks to actually unlock the next region, which is the Kandarin area. So if we update the relics real quick, boom, new area to be unlocked. Going to Kandarin for my master plan after all to get myself some good starting cash and some good levels because there's a lot of good quests that we can unlock there. But first, I want to focus on the money aspect, which is more woodcutting and more fletching levels. I gotta admit that the plan got delayed a little bit, but with this, we should be done 70 fletching right there. We also got 75 woodcutting, so that means that we have enough skills to go and get started on AFKing some yew trees and actually get myself some yew longs, which I can elk, uh, the insta spin and the insta stringing will be super uh, helpful as well. Just gotta pick the flax afterwards, but that is literally the least of my worries. And uh, after I made that, I will actually properly start to be playing the game, doing a lot of quests, getting a lot of stats, and actually probably going to grind a slayer all the way to uh, 87 or above, because I kinda do wanna get a lot of unlocks um, true slayer such as the whip the tentacle uh and all of that good stuff but first money making with you trees This has been one of the most nostalgic experiences I've had in recent years. I never thought picking flax in 2020 would still be a thing, but I guess the grind isn't that hard with perks like Rust Recall right now. And I gotta say, this brings back great memories from being a little kid, coming home from school and just picking these things for hours on end to make myself some good money. And I'm talking back in 2007 right here. Those were the days. I got a lot more levels than I expected just trading crafting like this. I'm averaging over 500,000 experience an hour with crafting bowstrings. 540k, we gained 75,000 XP, so we're all the way up to level 47. Now comes the another easy part, fletching all of those, because I'm really curious about the XP on that one. But then I need to find another way to get um, more nature runes and actually get myself some money to get runes, because we still don't have 55 uh, magic to do high elking. I think I'm going to go and camp tree spirits a little more, might use the elks on that for money, and buy myself some more mind runes as well as air runes. But for now, we got 600 of each, so let's start fletching. Okay, this is super satisfying. 11 million XP an hour, and I gained 360,000 XP in approximately two minutes, I believe. That is just, wow, I, I, I genuinely love this perk. Beautiful. Last I checked, I was ranked 412 in fletching, so let's see what it is right now with all the XP gained. Rank 43. Okay, I never thought I would be ahead of so many people at this point. That feels really good. And I really feel like I achieved something in this episode, at least. Uh, I'm not going to be the number one with points, nor the number one with total level or anything. But uh, this feels really good to do, and I think it was a really smart way to start off like this. We've already completed our goal of hitting 55 magic here, and so far I have accomplished 460 nature runes. So we're almost there. I'm going to stay here for a little bit longer, but look at all these nice elks already. I can have all the Mitchell axes the adamant ones as well as these rune ones i got some extra so that's gonna be good money on top of the yu long bows i have as well the first 100k cash stack on your account has been achieved now we can actually buy a dragon scimitar if we've done the quest and we can get ourselves a good starter weapon to start training my melees with and I actually just did some more research and I found out some disturbing news. My initial plan on this game mode was to go to the Tyronwyn area, get myself a blowpipe from Zora and actually use the 98% recollection effect in order to maximize it with the quick shot to get like super high DPS. Now, unfortunately, I have uh, I have gotten some bad news that I actually need the desert area if I want to smit and fletch my own darts. Uh, because you need to complete the tortoise trap for that and the only other way to get it is from implings um they do drop one in 19 out of dragon implings uh crystal implings do drop uh, rune darts as well semi commonly now the problem with that is eventually i will run out of a lot of them because of the quick shot like it will go really fast even though i have the 98 percent collection recollection effect so i kind of think that i might go melee in this one uh, because eventually I do want to get myself an Abyssal Whip, I want to get myself a Tentacle and use a lot of melees for uh, my training and everything, so it might be really good. Although magic does sound really good as well, so I'm kind of undecided on that just now. But since I'm not really going into my melees just yet, until a little bit after this video is released because I want to do some more skilling, uh, I think I might let it up to you guys. Uh, what should I do? What is the best uh, course of action, you think? Because my initial plan of getting a blowpipe and just shredding everything that existed has kind of... Uh, 
yeah, it's a little bit of a bummer because, uh, well, darts will be hard to come by. So that is something I've been uh, very mindful of. So I might actually not unlock the Tyranwin area in the end and maybe go for something else as, as Garnia and actually maximize on the melees with piety and stuff. Uh, maybe get myself some primordials and stuff too. So that would be really nice. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, but for now, we're back to some alking. I unfortunately have run out of nature runes, but would you look at that cash tag? We got ourselves over 430,000 GP. And I think that's actually a very good starting point. I wanted to go all the way to 1 million, but I think this is a really good uh, setup for me to get uh, rolling with. And now it is time to finally some quest, get some skills done. But that is going to be for the next episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this first leaks thing. I'm going to be posting quite a lot about this because I do feel like we're going to be having a lot of time to play because we're probably the entire world going into a second lockdown so uh yeah enjoy more of this content coming soon but i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did make sure to leave it a like rating and if you're not subscribed to the channel please do so as well and i'll see you guys in the next one